Hey you all, I am here to do a product review on three products. Um, these products were provided to me by NaturallyCurly.com and um, I was not paid to do this review so it is unbiased. I just um, was sent these products to, to do a review to do a review on. Um, actually this is only a sample of the We Dad 12 minute deep treatment and I received the curly hair solution slip which um, these are available on the naturally curly dot um, the curl mart website excuse me curl mart and uh, the AG curl trigger curl enhancing spray okay I'm gonna start with the we dad 12 minute deep treatment um, it says for you to use two ounces this sample is two and a half ounces so I mean I've pretty much used the in, the entire sample there are like maybe like this much left in it um, but this had three steps to it so it was a little different than you know your typical deep conditioner that you just put on your hair and let it sit and rinse it out um, this I washed my hair and then um, applied this and I used my um, my heating cap that I've showed on here before my golden hot bonnet um, heating cap and but it says to cover with a shower cap and heat with a blow dryer but I didn't want to go that route so I used my bonnet for 12 minutes uh, because it says uh, do that for 12 minutes allow the warm product to remain for 12 minutes so you're to use the blow dryer and then let the heat that has been emitted with the blow dryer let that sit for 12 minutes so and then before you rinse it out you have to uh, add a conditioner to your hair and then rinse all of that out so excuse me the conditioner that I used was Darcy Botanicals uh, pumpkin seed conditioner so after I took off the plastic cap after I got under from under the bonnet I uh, used Darcy Botanical pumpkin seed conditioner comes in a pump container and I just put that on my hair along with the weed ad and then I rinsed it out. Um, <clears throat> the results were okay. It's definitely not something that I would purchase. Um, from my understanding, these products aren't extremely cheap. Um, so it wasn't something that blew me away. It didn't make my hair feel bad. It wasn't hard or anything like that. But it wasn't like extremely um, soft or extremely moisturized in my opinion enough to warrant me going out and purchasing it I mean it was an okay um item but I wouldn't purchase something that I felt was just okay so yeah it was okay but it didn't blow me away um <clears throat> the detangler the slip now this I do like um, it, I want to say it's silicone free. Yes, it says this treatment contains no silicone and rinses out clean. So there is no cones in this. I like it. Um, I didn't use a lot of it, but once I rinsed out the deep conditioner, um, I sprayed a little of this in and then, um, did my twist. Um, you know, I rarely do style tutorials, but I guess I should have done one for my hair now. But anywho, so I use this and then I uh, used my moisturizer, which I use commits to do my twist. But this I liked. My hair felt nice when I used it. It didn't make it hard or anything. So I'm a fan of this. Um. The first ingredients in here are, you know, decent. Now, the second one is um, chloride, 
demonium chloride, but then it's sunflower extract, chamomile extract, aloe leaf extract, calendula flower extract, um, and then, you know, later down the list, you got the glycol. Um, it has silk amino acids in here, panthenol, um, but it's no cones. So if you're one of those people who prefer to use cone-free products, this is definitely something that you may want to look into. It is a liquid, so it's not a creamy or thick leave-in. So if you prefer that, then this definitely would not be the product for you. But if water-based can uh, leave-ins work well for you, um, this definitely would be something to try. I like it. I would get this. But fortunately, I got a full size bottle, so you know it'll last me for a little bit. But I did like this. Um, now, on to the curl trigger spray. I pretty much knew before I even tried this that it probably was not going to be a go. Um, typically, for me, for my hair, um, for curl enhancing products, they have to be like a gel. Spray stuff really doesn't do anything for me and this did not um it says it is a secret weapon to control define and enhance curly and wavy hair it has anti-humectants it eliminates frizz traps in moisture leaves locks healthy shiny and sexy that's what it says it does um now this product does have protein in it so this, that may have been a, an issue too as to why I didn't like the way my hair felt. It does have um, hydrolyzed wheat protein and it has soy protein. So it has two types of protein in here. Um, and it has, it has a few extracts in here, but a lot of um, the items you know, are kind of fillers. It does have um, dimethicone in it, so this is not cone-free. Um, and like I said, I did not like the way my hair felt when I used it. It didn't really seem to do much enhancing. I mean, my hair doesn't really need curl enhancement because water enhances <laughs> the curl. So that's really all my hair needs is water. Um, but this made it hard. So, it's definitely not something that I would purchase. Uh, but like I said, it does have soy and wheat protein in here, which may have attributed to that because I do think that I am protein sensitive. So, um, you know, if your hair can tolerate protein, then it may like it. But again, like I said, it's liquid, you know, it's spray. And my hair is fine, but it's thick, so my strands are fine. But liquid things on my hair, just liquid curl enhancers, they just, no. The best things for my hair to pretty much not really enhance, but kind of lock in and defrizz my curls are more gel-based um, items, gel or cream-based, but liquid, mm -mm. So overall, out of those three products, I would purchase this. But the Weed Dad 12 Minute, you know, I don't know. And two, because you have to use another conditioner with it, maybe the Darcy's Botanical Pumpkin Seam Conditioner was not a good combination with this. Maybe if I would have used a Weed Dad conditioner, which I don't have, but maybe if I would have used a Weed Dad conditioner on top of this, maybe the results would have been better, but it didn't specify that in the directions that you needed to use a weed add conditioner. It just said, um, add a conditioner. So the one that I used, you know, may not have been the right combo. I'm not sure, but, um, that's it. I hope this review helped. You know, if those were any products that you may have been considering that my review helped you a little bit. All right. Thanks. Peace.